Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the news so far. We are jumping in again for the streak tying victory. We're going to try and do mother with Judas, but I will take a regular victory if I can't do mother. Biggest worry obviously right now is playing as Judas means that there is some inherent risk involved uh, just because this guy has only one HP. All it takes is a rather spooky boy champion enemy to um, to... to Bring things cr crumbling down, so I'm going to be very, very careful here. Um, I'm already not very pleased that this guy's lighting things on fire, and I don't really like him getting close to me. I'd rather him stay the hell away. But yeah, these little dudes, now that they've been lit on fire, are so much trickier. Like, they actually become new enemies rather than just being a little faster like they normally are, which is boring. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead, try our best to, like, find a soul heart or something. I honestly don't really know what the best strategy here is for us trying to stay alive. It's one of those things where I'm like, normally I feel like I do pretty well as Judas, and now I'm like, I just can't remember how I normally play well as Judas. Like, how do I normally get away with not dying on the first floor? Now that it actually matters, I'm like, I don't know. As for the question of the day today, what's your most hated word? What's a word that you absolutely despise hearing? See, now that, that's really good, but it's actually not very valuable for us right now um, for the simple fact of um, currently, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I saw the champion, I crapped myself, but the simple fact of right now, we don't actually have any health to fill that, uh, that heart with, so it's not actually that valuable for us until we get a heart to fill it with, which is why I'm spending valuable time destroying a bunch of poops right now. We've also got the hippity-hopping annoyances over there. They're really just the worst things ever. I really hate these enemies a lot. Uh, I'm going to quickly check this for a heart because I will indeed buy a heart from here if I can and indeed I can. Now I feel a little bit more at peace. Now I feel like I can start living my life. Um, I will most certainly just re-roll this and I despise what I have done to myself. Um, I thought there was like pretty much no way I could get something worse. And the game's like, oh, lol, here's the teleporter, ugh. So that's a pretty rough first floor. We didn't really gain anything out of this floor, no soul hearts. I mean, we could go in here. Do you know what? I will go in here. It was pretty valueless, to be honest, coming in here. If we'd have had money, it would have been alright. But we don't have money, so it wasn't alright. Right, go back and get the heart that's back over there. Don't know if taking those bombs was a particularly safe strategy there, but I did it anyways, um, and I'll grab that. And right, let's let's take a little look-see here. So item-wise in here, we do have a soul heart in here. I'm going to be mean to my... I, I've been absolutely cruel to my donation machine, but on a streak, I feel like it's so necessary that buying a soul heart there is super valuable, and it means that we get a little bit more out of this first floor, and I feel a little bit more safe. Um, so let's see about secret room. It's likely to be there. It's in, in fact, I'm pretty sure it has to be there. There you go. So, let's see if I gamble correctly here. I can't remember what the other pill I took was, so I'm not getting a health up here. Unfortunately, we didn't really get anything great there. But this will make our, our boss fight a little bit quicker. So there's that at least. But yeah, not exactly the best choice there. But I suppose it's better that than something that's negative to us. I'm really unsure what version of this, like, what does this guy do? The yellow version. I don't think I've ever seen the yellow version of this guy. It seems like he's just faster. We get matchbook here, which again isn't that great but at least gives us some bombs. Right now, I'm I'm definitely leaning towards the side of not doing a mother run, just based on the fact that we didn't get an item this floor, apart from a crappy boss item. Um, so at the minute, I'm definitely leaning towards not going to uh, mother, but this floor could persuade me. I mean, we could end up getting a really good quality three or four item from our item room. You never know. Um, Realistically, what I should have done with my item room back there is I should have kept the D6 for an active item to pop up and just taken the Peeper's Eye because I would have gotten some guaranteed val value out of re-rolling an active item um, rather than uh, gambling the chance at losing. I wouldn't even say a good item, but so 
like uh, losing an item that I could have just taken. Peeper's Eye is, is not great, but it's not, it's also not awful. Like it does give you a damage up on your, um, I think it's a 33% damage up on your left or right eye. It's, it's not in, it's not inconsequential, but it's also not great. So there. Good, good. Ooh, a half soul heart. Regains my black heart back. We'll fight the boss straight away here. I'm not looking to do a devil deal here just because my health is still quite low. Unless I get something here that's going to bolster my health quite a bit, but I doubt that. I love bombing this guy. It makes him so much easier. Oh god, I still got hit by the brimstone, but I still got my black heart alive, so I'm pretty happy. We did get some HP, but devil deal I will not go for right now. Um, and we will keep on moving on. Reasonably happy now. Still isn't a great run. We need some statistical increases for me to really feel like it's actually a good run, but which I think it's not bad. It's only a 3% chance to shoot one of these tiers, but uh, I'm not exactly sure if the tooth tier also gains the regular tooth mechanics of doing three times damage, or if it's just poison. Because I feel like it should do extra damage, it being a tooth, but I, I, I have to say the game does like to have some inconsistencies, so I can't exactly base that on previous things. Friendly Sack, I love. Friendly Sack is a friend. Thank you for being a friend. I'm pretty sure Secret Room's here. And we got a Soul Heart, somehow? Honestly, not quite sure how I got a Soul Heart there. And I'm going to do two of these. I don't want to spend all my bombs here. Eh. Game screwed me a little bit there. Eh, I'll spend 7 cent on this machine. I was hoping for at least a card, but... You can't always get what you want in this world. Anyways, we're not looking for boss rush or anything like that, so we can, uh... We can go and spend our time on some rooms that we don't need to spend our time on. Hey, get out of here, you. Oh, fuck! Oh, that was such... <laughs> that was such a dumb way to lose a soul heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh lord, I don't know why, I, I knew I didn't even need to shoot him, I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna shoot it because it's funny, uh, I, will, I will head down this way now, I was like, I'm gonna shoot it because it's funny, and yeah, um, <laughs> I didn't realise it was that champion, and then I was stuck on the webbing, it just all went wrong so quickly, so quickly did my vigour unvigorize. Which is a sentence I can't imagine many people have said ever. It might be the first time in human history those words have been strung together. Slash unvigorized has been created as a word because I, I doubt it actually exists as a word currently. I may have invented a word. It's fine. It's fine. Anyways, give me that key. Got our book back and ready to go. But yeah, our friendly sack here can do some really good stuff. The main, oh, hell. The main uh, positive of friendly sack is that it can, um, it can create clots, which obviously allow you to shoot extra shots. Good old poison on that guy. That's a lot of fart clouds going on right there. You want to blow up all of that crap. Can we petrified poop? Um... What's better? What's better? Probably Petrified Poop, right? Yeah, it's already given me three whole Penutons. We got budget Petrified Poop just here as well. But Penny. Okay, not particularly happy with the damage I've taken thus far, but my health is actually, for Judas, it's okay. So I'm not, like, completely miffed. Really hoping that'd be Secret Room then. In fact... No, I, I, don't, I don't think it is. That, that, that one exploded like right on where Secret Room would have spawned, so I'm just going to take it at face value and say it is what it is. Don't know what these guys really do. They they move really fast when they're spinning, but like they kind of move very erratically. I don't know if they actually aim for you or not, if they just kind of move randomly. That amount of extra pennies there, lovely. If we go for our boss here. Yeah, take out them corn mines there before they become a problem. I said before they become a problem, and then I instantly walk directly into one of them. 
This guy shouldn't be too bad. I'm really hoping I don't lose my uh, potential angel chance against this guy, but you never know. Basically, it's all about getting him into second phase as quickly as I can. Once I get him into second phase, he's kind of easy. I'm not going to say he's definitely easy, because that's setting myself up for getting hit, isn't it? But, there you go. Beautiful. Angel chance is looking okay. Sadly, we did not get the angel chance to go in our favor. We did get a pretty hefty damage up, which I'm very happy about. And we also got a locust heart there, which will give us a locust pair four, but we keep it. So I'd like to very much keep it around if I can. Secret room is either here or below. I'm really hoping it's above. I'm pretty sure it's here then. Excuse me? I am confused by this. Where the hell is it then? Boom, 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 boom. I'm quite liking having this friend finder buddy, to be honest. Don't know what we're getting here, so just take a random empty heart's pretty good. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where secret room is in this situation. Oh well, I guess. Oh well. Um, we have kind of buggered up going mother by um, accidentally using my bombs on secret rooms, but we can go back here and, and see. So we do get a locust here. We got a drippy locust. I'm not quite sure why it's drippy, but it is. So there. This little bug is like not staying in line with me, and it's really goddamn confusing. I'm not really sure what the red flies do yet. I've still not really figured that out. It doesn't seem to give them any extra HP or anything, so... Still a little unsure. But yeah, this Mox's head thing, whatever we, we got there, is, is pretty good for us. Hey, we finally got a clot. Extra DPS going out, so we've got a lot of extra shooting that we're doing right now. I'll tell you what, I like that quite a bit. Nugget... Ah, uh, Nugget's such, an, such a bad one for me, because I think it is genuinely pretty good. But uh, with low tiers, I've got base tiers still, I think it's a no-go. If I get a hefty tiers up from the boss, I'll reconsider. But right now, with base tiers, I just don't think it's something I can consider. Can my, can my friends stop getting all out of sorts? Dude, Clot. Why is this Clot getting so far away from me? Range down. Gotta love that. This clot's not staying in line. I don't like it. I think my friend is pushing him around. Which is weird. Good. I'm trying to keep, like, absolutely trying my best to keep my Locust Heart alive, because the more of those Locusts we get, the better. Um... Oh, for fuck's sake, you clotty fucker. The clot, like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just going to blame the clot. Don't, don't ask me why. Fuck's sake, Clot, you bitch. He just got so far away from me for some reason. I tried getting him in line again and it confused me. Ugh. Polaris. Decent. Unfortunately, we've not got any way to really utilize them properly. Another pretty awful boss item here. HP up is nice. Health up. Okay, we got two health ups out of that. That's not, not half bad. What's in our item room? I genuinely cannot remember what's in our item room. Oh, it's Nugget, of course. Okay. I'm... I don't know. Nugget's kind of a weird one. Doing the rest of this floor because I might be able to get some money for a shop here. Yeah, the longer we can go without getting hit, the more Polaris will do for us. Polaris eventually will give us Brimstone as well, which is kind of nice. Normally it's been a pain in the ass, but in this situation it's pretty good. 
spin down. Now that might mean that we can do something with Nugget. Let's see what Nugget spins down into. Uh, the the placard. It's not not that good. I'm I'm honestly having a real hard time deciding if I want Nugget or not. It can be so good, but it can also be really devastating. Okay, my clot is dead now, I think. Temperance doesn't do much for us. Steven Floor. Don't think we need Steven Floor in this room. We don't really have the money. I think you kind of need Oversort 20 cent to make it work. Hey, there's a Polaris level up. We get 20 20 for a little bit here. And eventually, we get Brimstone. Good, there's our additional penny that we've been looking for. Thank you. This is basically the same room we were just in, but in a slightly different layout. Considering I don't have the range to hit these guys from there, that's really annoying. We got there in the end. Ah, uh, we can't get into the arcade without um, buggering this up. Right, let's go to our shop. Do I want Nugget? I really, really don't know. Should go into our cash room here as well. Oh, really? <laughs> as if I got hit there. Now this is a spin down. We take prank cookie. Definitely take prank cookie, okay. Nuggets, oh dude, we got another place to bomb into to the left there. I need another bomb. Quickly go to our shop here. See what's what. I think I'm going to have to leave Nugget. My range is so bad. Um, I think I take this and I take the bomb. Back down here. Magic 8-Ball. Wow. Just, it's just having base fire rate. If we get some fire rate ups, it's fine. Dude, this guy, like, hippity hops so fucking goddamn far. Calm yourself, dude. Calm yourself. I don't even need to fight these guys. I have a Hermit card that I could just use. I've committed now. Oh, for God's sake. I've lost my goddamn soul heart, though. I shouldn't have committed. Fuck it, stop moving so radically, you weirdo. Annoying me. Do I want Nugget? I'm gonna take Nugget. I'm gonna take Nugget. Pretty bad fire rate, that is. Uh, that machine changed. Strange. I'm gonna hope this wasn't a terrible idea. It's just, it's unlimited bombs as well, that's the thing. Just one of those items that I'm like, still unsure how I feel about it. Not second secret room. What the hell? The sun's pretty nice for the next floor, I will say that. You can also fill in gaps as well. It's, it's, it's definitely got some positives to it. Yeah. 
good, good. Right. I think having low range is slightly preferable with this, actually. We'll keep going on the mother path. Actually, we did, we've not even got our knife piece, so what the hell am I doing? Let's just carry on the regular path. <laughs> I didn't even grab the knife piece, that's fine. Good, good. That makes things easier for me. That doesn't destroy the uh, thingies. Ooh, that's a good trinket. I don't know. Yeah, it's probably better than Petrified Poop at this point, actually. Polaris levels up. That's good. 1%. Uh, oh, no, it's a 16% planetarium chance. That's pretty nice. Another Morbid Heart as well, okay. Luna? Luna is kind of good for us here, actually, because Luna is going to allow us to gain fire rate each floor if we can find our secret room. Which is incredibly necessary for us. We also just became teeny tiny baby boy. Ah, that's a bit of an unfortunate ear was there. I guess what I should do really is blank rune on top of a something, so if it gives me another ear was that's pair throw at that time. Okay. This thing's dog shit. That was hilarious. I really hate this thing as an active item. It's just it's unlimited money, but it's so annoying. That time it gave me a bomb. I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, apparently it doesn't just give coins. Anyways, let's do this until we get up to 15 coins. We're near now, right? Three more. One. Ugh. Two. And three. There you go. It's a really annoying item. Oh, I can't even get that one. Okay. Bugger you then, I guess. Right. Good. Go away. This has not been a wholly successful run, to be honest. I do like that we've got Luna now, though. Now, purposely missing enemies to get the, the Nugget explosion is a little annoying. Infested. At this point, I'm keeping my uh, Sun card till the next floor, because I forgot to use it at the start of this floor, so... I've already found the secret rooms at this point, but why not wait? And then I've got Luna, and I can use it on all the secret rooms. You kind of need, like, really low range with this. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, speedy. Ah, I see how this room works now. It's annoying. It's cheeky is what it is. It's cheeky. Oh, can, can for, like, once I accidentally destroy a skull and it not give me a fucking hearst? Look, just one time. Right. I'm pretty sure I can just walk through these guys. It doesn't actually matter. But I'll, I'll wait it out anyways. Just just to be sure. Okay, Polaris has leveled up again. Lovely. We're up to 2020 now. That's good at least. We'll see what's in here at least. Nothing useful. Thank you, thank you, game. We are in depths of one at the moment. See, it's my, my Polaris has just leveled up again. 
But I'm not sure what it's done this time. I think it's just given me more damage by the looks of it. I thought I thought it went 20-20 then straight to Brimstone, but I've, I've, I'm clearly missing a step. Give me that penny. Hop in here real quick. That right there is pretty good. Um, I, I keep finding this. It's it's so goddamn good. Right. What do we want here? Do we want the Delirium book? Um, or actually, 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 shall we finally, finally for once, take this thing? Any book active used will now be buffed. I don't know how exactly how that works, but I've never had this before, and it's quality four, and it's a passive. So... I'm thinking maybe it'll make this thing insane, like it'll use it twice or something. It'll give me a bunch of damage, or it'll do some new effect. I really, I'm not sure. We're about to find out. Okay, we've got Brimstone now, that's nice. It does seem to give me more damage right now. And we'll go to the next floor, feeling pretty good about ourselves on that floor. Yeah, I don't know how valuable that is, but I've, I've been wanting to try it for ages. I actually have a book right now. I think it just uses my book twice, to be honest. I don't think it's anything super crazy. Oh, we got the soul heart anyways. Yes, bitch. Secret room. We already know that pill, I'm pretty sure. That's infested, so we'll try this other one. Lemon juice. Isn't that smaller tears? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's smaller tears. We, of course, do not need. Oh, we got a, a herming boy in here somewhere, somehow. I don't know why he's herming, but he is. Now, now, now. You've given to me... The Eternal D6. Now, I realize I just took that book thing, but the Eternal D6 would be pretty interesting. I still don't know why one of these guys is herming. I like it, but I don't know why. I also don't know why my guys are so fucking spread apart. Stick on me, you shits. Like, why do I want to enter a room and they're, like, spread out for a mile? It's... I keep pushing them, I think. I think that's what's happening. I think I'm pushing them away from myself. The Scooper. How dare you. How dare you, Scoop. I would never Scoop. I think it's actually worth taking the Eternal D6 just to reroll the Scooper, because I'm that annoyed at it. See, the problem for me right now is I could reroll the Book of Belial and potentially get a better item from the Secret Room pool right now by, by rerolling here. But the problem is, oh wait, does it tell me what the book does? Gives a permanent damage increase. Okay, this is, that, that book's hella good. <laughs> that book is hella good. Basically, we want to be using it literally all the time now. But I will spend a bit of money here to come and reroll this once and hope we get something that's actually usable. Like the amazing lead pencil. I'm very, very happy with what I've done here. But yeah, actually... The fact that it uh, just gives me a lot more, like, damage over time permanently, I like that. I like that. I like the fact that the EID description is filled in with what the extra effect is as well. Beautiful. But yeah, we want to be using this thing literally at any given opportunity now. I'm trying to walk into the goddamn secret room. I mean, I might as well grab the devil card, why not? Lead Pencil doing some interesting stuff there. For one, firing a lot more regularly than I'd expect it to is one thing. I don't think I actually finished that previous room there, so... My bad. 
Oh, I got hit. Oh, I've got a lead pencil charger. Oh, that's super cool. Although, it seems to be a complete and utter lie. It just charged and then it's like, yeah, I don't... Okay, this lead pencil thing's broken. It doesn't work. Lead pencil plus a uh, nugget there. Proving to be pretty useful. For some reason, every time I do the mother fight with the fiend mother, she's always got lowered HP and I don't know why. That bad boy. Angel deal, what do you hold for me? Nothing amazing, but we do get the bonus damage from Blood of the Martyr because we have Book of Belial, which is pretty nice. It's pretty rare that, you, uh, that you're able to get that. When it happens, it's nice. Excuse me? There you go. Give me that fire rate, baby. And the half soul heart as well, why not? Don't even know why I used my book there. I just use it straight away because I'm like, I want the extra damage. <clears throat> when it fires lead pencil, I kind of love it. It's kind of amazing. I think Nugget was actually a good choice for us here then. Look at that. Where the fuck's the last enemy? There he is. We're firing so many shots because of our clots now that it's more likely that we're going to miss. And therefore more likely we can just, like, destroy the whole room. Blackheart, lovely. Go back and get that real quick. Secret room, lovely. There you go. That's all we're waiting for. You're just waiting for Lead Pencil to do its thing and just decimate the entire room. Oh, it's beautiful. Lovely. Oh, I was just about to say, there's no way I don't get hit here. Pretty good. Good. Toy piano doesn't really matter for us. And away we go. Should have taken that key, but I missed it. It's fine. Doesn't matter that I missed it, because it's back, baby. And what the shit? Those chests can have sacred orb in them? What? Is, is Sacred Orb and I, I even have unlocked yet? I don't think it is. <laughs> Either way. Can't be displeased with Sacred Orb, although, have to say, a little bit late in the run to get it. Although, saying that, it will make our, um, our four chests on the chest quite a bit better. Oh, that is satisfying. That is tickety boo. And that is an item I don't currently need, but I will take anyways. Thank you, raw liver. <laughs> oh, I think all of my clots also fire the lead pencil, so it's it's really it's really quite crazy. Oh, so many secret rooms, it's beautiful. I love Luna. Especially with this where we're accidentally finding them. More fire rate, baby. Up to a somewhat reasonable fire rate now. Ooh, I'll go back and get that key. <laughs> you got for us Sinner's Heart. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, two black hearts, two damage than times 1.5, get range, minus shot speed, grant spectral and piercing. Hell to the yes. Look at that damage, baby. 
Sinner's Heart is a goddamn amazing devil item. Like, the fact that we've only just unlocked it is sinful. Because it's so goddamn good. <laughs> it's literally basically the Sacred Heart of the Devil deal. It's a pretty huge damage boost. Obviously, it doesn't give Herming. But... Spectral and piercing, plus a massive load of damage. It's a very good. Uh, I do not want to use M, thank you. I'm very much liking my book right now. We go up to 88 damage whenever we use our book. Bit of speed, thank you. Lovely. Looking like we're on our way to the boss here. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to go back and do an extra room. Just so that I can uh, use my active on the boss. Because getting up to 80 damage feels pretty good. Cool. Back down we go to the boss. And here we are. Okay, it's only up to 50 this time. Not quite sure why, but... I'll accept it, because it's an insta-kill. Nugget, you've done it again. I had my doubts, but you were there for me when I needed you most. Have to say, not the greatest selection of stuff, considering our uh, thingy. Although... It doesn't explode with every bounce. I'm a little bit sad about that. Overall, that's fine. Okay, we're on to Brimstone now, but we do get a Brimstone Ball, which is rather nice. Okay, I've been hit again. No more Brimstone. Probably preferable to not have Brimstone, to be honest. Bag o' bobbies. Just want the fire rate, thank you. Such a huge fire rate boost in that first one. Lovely. Book of Revelations doesn't particularly matter for us right now. Oh, baby. What character would we have next? Is it Blue Baby next? I think it is, isn't it? Blue Baby's not so bad. Regular Blue Baby, that is. Tainted Blue Baby's a heathen. Ooh, that Brimstone Ball is smexy. Mom's Razor. Nothing amazing. <laughs> That's such a fun synergy. That's a modded synergy, by the way. Proptosis. Hell yes. I love Proptosis. Okay, here's the boss. Up to 54 damage. Ooh, you hit me. That's not good for you, man. You've, you've made your life harder by hitting me. Well, they're saying that. I'm not doing much damage to you right now, which is surprising. Oh, it's because of Proptosis, that's why. I was like, why aren't I hitting you very hard? Proptosis is actually not good for the combination of stuff we had. But there you go. He's dead anyways. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Yet another good win under the belt. And I'll see you guys in the next one.